And honestly, pretty good opener too. Uh, I actually don't know. I don't know whether I... Let's, let's run it this way. I'm going to let the possum get the stuff. And I almost... <laughs> I think I almost screwed up there. Let's freeze all this. We'll just buy all that next turn. Yeah, I do like having a magpie on the first couple of turns. Can you remind me of what wording... Wait, what the wording of potato is, please. I'll look it up. It protects your thing from 10 damage twice. That's sniper damage. Where is potato? Give one pet potato perk. Take 10 dis damage. I can't. I, can, I just... My brain. I'm leaving it. Don't make me read, please. Uh, Here. Yeah. I think this time is probably worth doing it this way. Like we can we can buff up a bulldog if we have two things on it. Shelly potato works with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, good point actually. Yeah, that would be like giving it five HP, so that would have been worth it. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't negate the buff either. I'm hoping it it just seems terrible though. Like it is synergy with pitta bread, but that feels like it, because the buffs it gives just aren't worth the like maintenance cost. Because it's just so janky. Uh, maybe I just sell the possum. Well, I can maybe sell both of these and buy both of those. But I think I stack here. Sell the silk moth first. We can maybe find something worth selling this for. I'm not keeping that. We can just leave. Sea urchin might be okay. I think it's decent to throw at the front. Or somewhere. Actually hit the squid. But <laughs> whatever. Okay. Love all three of these. And yeah. You know what? You two go to the back. Everything else can be at the front. Data works for two turns is pretty good. You're actually right. I forgot that it gets like two triggers. I never use potatoes. Or like when I have used potatoes, they don't do anything. So I, so I don't think of potatoes. It was 3-8 and plus 2-2 two, two, and it already didn't seem great and they nerfed it. The walrus thing? This guy? Manatee? I don't know. I, I didn't see the changes when they came out. Anyway, yeah, Bulldog, I think we're fine. I'm going to... I think I just buy sell this. I'm hoping it hits any one of those three. I don't want it to hit the snail, but... Okay, I like that hit. And then let's run that separately, play this here, and then roll once. Hoping for Coon Snail or Sea Urchin. Coon Snail, thank you. And send it like that, too. Okay, I can definitely see Potato being good with it, then. Obviously, you could probably make custom packs that make it very good as well. Or, I don't know, benefit from it in some way. Anything that has, like, self-damage has, like, certain synergies. Because you can maybe use it with the crane to give it a protective equipment. And, I don't know. Other things, but, yeah. Early sea lion? I don't think that's too bad. And <laughs> secretary bird. Two friends faint, give the thing behind. Plus three, plus three. It's, uh, I don't know, it is good. It's definitely better than the gazelle. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to go for that long term. I kind of like the idea of just trying to do sea lion scaling. The secretary bird work with mantis? Probably. I imagine so. This seems like the sort of thing that would work in the shop, but maybe expensive. Something that takes five self damage, it needs to get better buff. I agree. Like that's that's the problem. It does start with decent stats, like it can survive two hits by itself. But like Again, taking five damage to give three stats. That's not three, three. That is one, two. That, that's very weak. Like, that's, yeah. <laughs> Again, it does start fairly big, whereas you compare that to a one, two penguin or whatever it is. And Proy. All right, we got the poop hat. If I have it. I may not have it. I don't believe I have the poop hat. Try and say something else. Or maybe I'll just, like, take the thing off. Anyway, we're buying this. I think I do take the secretary birds. But it's only going to do one thing at the moment. I don't know if I want stuff. What else could I go for? Can you just refund? I can't. No, I, I don't know how. I don't have normal... Okay, look, I'm going to turn off uh, Harry Deems. Hold on. Hold on. Look, I, I'll change it back to the hat menu. Try and pick something. But, yeah, I'm going to turn that off. Channel points, manage rewards, where's the hat? Alright, there we go. Your back, so how many different types of bean do you eat on a daily basis? What? 
no comments. Oh. Where's my dashboard? Okay. Bear skin. Alright. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I just need to do stuff, I think. Let's get rolling. Baboon! I like it, but we don't have a level 3 to buff yet. We'll get rid of this. I'm gonna trust that we'll find something. Maybe not this turn, but <laughs> at some point. Flying fish. I think I just leave the baboon scaling for now. I'll just I'll just skip it. But yeah, this this all is fine. It only makes sense if garlic and lime reduce the self damage. Lemon would be very good for it, yeah, because I'm only taking one damage at a time. It's just in this pack. Feels a bit janky. There is a handful of things that synergize. And also, this is definitely different. Hold on. Since when did you buff things? Uh, empty front space. If in battle, push the nearest friend ahead to the front and give it plus 4 HP. I just realized it's a tier 5 as well. Okay. <laughs> what does this synergize with then? Dude. Could you have like a, a lizard game with this? Like, have a um, a level 2 flying fish in your team. Like, a level 3 emu or something, and then a load of lizards. I guess maybe just 2 or something, but... That might be good. Because then it'll, like, keep throwing it in front of it. Because it, like, summon... It'd summon a tail in front of it. And then when the tail dies, this would push it to the front again, maybe? So you could get multiple triggers on one lizard. Dart frog. Uh, also seems okay. It doesn't really benefit from the health, though. Hmm. Anyway, I don't care for these surgeon fish. Weasel's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to go for a, an emu build. And also, am I losing it? How did they get an emu? We're tier 3 and it's in tier 5. How did they get that? You said lemon. It is a lemon. There's someone else that said it was a lime, which is not, unless they changed it and I'm dumb. Literally, the synergy you just played against is the strongest, I think. What? <laughs> the emu uh, lizard? How did they get it, though? How did they get a, an emu? Was this back when it was, like, level 3 or something? Like, this is an old team, and they get, like, the benefit. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Okay. I have to imagine that's what it is. Uh, but let's maybe roll then. Because if I can find more flying fish, lizards, baboons, any of those, I think we can maybe try and use that. Ooh, maybe just freeze avocado. Might need to get one of those. Uh, I want to see a tier 5. I think we sell cone snail this turn by the baboon. And then we let them buff each other. Maybe. <laughs> Buy avocado. Oh, wait. No, maybe this isn't great. I still want to buff each other. I'll just I'll just roll. We get to roll once, at least. So then set it like this. Like this. No shark and surgeon fish. I don't like either of those. Those are like my least favorite trumpets. Definitely losing. Okay, it's probably not gonna happen this game. I think next game I do want to try and make that build work though. Oh, this is better as well. This didn't used to be eight, did it? I thought it used to be six. Anyway, we're slapping these together. I maybe maybe I pivot off a lot of things. Like we don't have any synergy with the sea urchin, so I can maybe abandon that. I'm debating whether I buy this just to keep us alive for now. I love the idea of having like two sea lions, but maybe I just stack it. Take the Nihala, stack it. Then we can like keep both baboons separate so they'll both like buff the same thing. Take it for now at least. And nothing. Nothing here. And you have one thing, so these aren't worth anything. Uh, the question is whether it's worth combining these now, which I don't think it is. Just Stack that there. We can combine like later or something. I'm gonna abandon this. I don't think we're doing it this this turn. And 
Give something, give everything attack this time. Banana peels are slippery. Yes, they are. And hey, Milky, hello. Your name should be the Six Snake. I don't want my name to be the Six Snake. Also, what is this? Did their team just like implode? I almost want to have like loads of baboons. Maybe we like power scale like that. Yeah, I like the idea of that. We're slapping this on here. Uh, oh, blurring docked this. Not a bad buy sell. If I'm selling the Nyala. Also gives me a reason to maybe keep the baboons around, but. Yeah, let's, let's try. I don't really care about Nyala. We can find something else that's actually worth buffing with like super baboon scaling later. One more roll if we need. Uh, nothing. Okay, we can like leave this then. Yeah, buff, buff attack again. Okay. What and wire trumpets? I don't know what the connection is, but you can say the same thing for strawberries. I'm for it. <laughs> Maybe they already had the sound effect already, and they were like, "Well, no point branding it in a different way. Might as well just keep it trumpets." Anyway, I don't actually want to keep the magpie. What I definitely need to do is find a good tier 5 this turn. Do this. I think the C9 stays. Yeah, so we're going to see a tier 6, which obviously isn't a tier 5, but... Grizzly... I mean... I don't know. It's, Grizzly is cool, but it's one of the ones that doesn't... It's one of the very few that doesn't benefit from being really big. Like, this does, this does, this does, this does, this does, kind of. So that's like most of them, but I probably take it anyway because it's pretty good. Probably gonna end up like combining these and then looking for something. Crane is very worth it. I think I maybe get rid of Magpie this turn. It's nice, but I kind of like the super focused baboon scaling, so. Yeah, we're taking the crane. And we only have one level 5, I'll be leaving this. And then we roll all the way down. Okay, so I'm trusting that you won't insta-die. You need to take survive a hit, please. Please. Hmm. Okay. I think we're fine. I don't think that's going to be too much trouble. Thankfully we get like another trigger after this too. If it makes any difference. And it did. We get a win. Not bad. Okay, uh, yeah, we're, we're leaving things. We need to find cranes and chocolates, really. I don't know if I care about much else. Like, I like having the grizzly, but I kind of... <laughs> I don't know. I kind of just want to have the baboons to, like, scale up random junk on my team. Just have a really big team. And I want to buy bananas. Come on, chocolates and cranes. Sea lion. We could maybe try and level that. Uh... <laughs> You know what, sure. I don't think this is going anywhere either. Like, we maybe combine them, but... Yeah, for now we keep separate. We let it buff the Grizzly really hard. Maybe throw that to the front just so it, like... Makes it more likely that this is actually going to survive a hit. Oh, come on. What terrible trades. At least that didn't get one shot, but... Yeah, that died on a monkey. Okay. Would have even got another trigger if we needed. Five out of five. Okay, Highland Cow would also be great to scale with the baboon. And it's like trumpet generation. I could maybe just start combining them now and run a Highland Cow because we do have targeted health regen too. And it gives us a different target that actually benefits from the baboon. So let's, let's maybe try that. Mm. Alright. Uh, roll once. If I find a chocolate or something, I'd rather buy that first. And we did. <laughs> great. Uh, what tier is everything? Tier 3. So this is not going to work. Do I want to rearrange at all? This is doing 2-4. I think I'll leave things where they are for now. I don't know which of these is going to hit, but... Oh yeah, and I need to rearrange. This needs to be getting HP from the, the seal thing. And yeah, we're <laughs> very screwed. That thing is going to destroy us. Maybe not very screwed. I'll take a draw. 
And Stammy Pop, hello. You can get that leveled up. Or maybe the baboon. Hmm. What do we get more value from? We get like three extra stats from that, but four from this. So I guess we level this first. Catfish, nah. Uh, I do enjoy... <laughs> I do enjoy a bear level up. All right, I'm going to take this, I think. I'm going to freeze the bear, though. This thing needs more, more protection, though. We need to find a uh, potato for it. Would definitely be very helpful. Sadly, I can't scale its HP without like throwing this to the back. Hmm. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Great. Uh, Pitabres. I, I mean, there are things we could throw that on. Like, I could maybe throw it on, like, whatever I'm putting this behind. Whatever. How, however you actually say that. I'm not going to bother with the Cobra, I think. There's not enough time left in the game. Nah, we, just, we definitely just buy this. Alright, so what's going to have the most attack? This is probably going to have the most attack. Because like, it's, you know, good chance to be hit by the baboon. I could do this, but it's too likely to get one shot, so I won't actually activate. Yeah, I'm going to put this on here for now. I think it's worth it. It's going to take a while until it actually gets really big and won't benefit from the fifth bread that much. But either way, even if I had 50 attack, if it takes like 15 damage, then it gets full pit of bread value. So I think we can just buy that and be happy. And I don't think I go for the level up on this. Although, I'm only looking for the Baboon, so I guess... Well, actually, no, Crane as well. Now nah, we need the Crane first. We'll be leaving that for now. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Grizzly is a little bit safer. How does this game work? Uh, It is an auto-battler. So you make a team. You, be you basically like buy different pets. They will have different tiers and different abilities. And you can give them certain equipment. Currently, I don't have any equipment. <laughs> But yeah, the main ways to... Actually, no, I do have this pit bread, but... Yeah, you give them equipment, which is in these food slots. There are also stat food that just change these numbers below them. Their attack and defense. It's kind of like uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds, if you ever played that. I used to play it, but it's been a long time. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> no, this is so much better. We need to see if we can get that this time. And we did, thank you. Alright, and you know what? Maybe I do buy this. Probably better than an onion. Although I could do this, maybe. Give one pet the onion perk, move to the back when in front once. The only issue is, even if this does die in like two hits, and so this doesn't like get all its uses, if that's behind the bear, like what are the odds that this doesn't get one shot? I'll try it anyway, because it's probably the last turn. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. This is... Okay. I was going to say, this is a very small team, but this makes it a lot more scary. <laughs> hey, actually. Oh, no, it got, like, a lot of triggers. Never mind. We're all good. He jumped to the back anyway, but he doesn't have any more... <laughs> any more triggers left. There we go. Another win. We got, uh... What was it? We got something. This guy. The seal ad. What's my opinion on capybaras as an animal in general? I think they look cool. They're kind of weird. They're the biggest something. Is it... Are they rodents, technically? I can't remember what they are. Hold on, I'm going to do the prediction. Alright, and we're an hour in as well. Okay, so like one more hour of this, and then we're going to be doing... Some viewer lobbies. I made like three packs before the stream started, so I have some ideas. Right, and we will be the Naughty Dumplings. Excellent name. And apparently I'm correct that they are rodents, so <laughs> that's great. I don't understand these people that keep running like two things on the first turn. It just throws me off. Uh, do I buy all of this? I think I do. Just, <laughs> just take all these. Take all these, let the magpie steal some gold, and then we can end it. Wow, rude. Painful and rude. At least it's a win. What custom packs you made? I made 
fish only. They're, they're very standard. Fish only, birds only, and then slugs and snails. Slugs and snails only. Because now there's, you know, there's regular snail, there's regular slug, wherever it is, and then there's cone snail. I was thinking of expanding it to mollusks or something, but then it includes loads of weird stuff, like all the cuttlefish, squids, and uh, something. This guy. There may be others. I, I just wasn't sure, so I decided to leave that. Anyway, please combine. Surgeon fish. Spend two trumpets to give the nearest friend behind plus six HP. That seems pretty worth it if we can find a stilt, assuming that hasn't changed. Oh, I think it has changed, but it's now like more trumpets. Are we doing normal game or test server? Test server, because we're probably only going to have like 10 people in them, but I, I want to do some test server stuff. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe we can do votes. But yeah, we're not waiting a long time or stuff like that. And it's magpie. No, there are things we actually need to find. Come on, one stilt. Uh, okay. So we don't have any trumpets. I'm hoping that this has the same bug that the squid did. Or <laughs> it can just like trigger anyway. Uh, pretty sure it won't, but yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I want sea urchin. Show me another bulldog or a stilt. Any of that. Not the magpie, please. Fine. Fine. We're probably going to die, though. I, I think we're definitely losing HP this turn, too. We did not get stronger. Which might not be. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Not losing HP there is huge. <laughs> it kind of gives me a reason to pivot away from the Surgeon Fish, because we didn't get that working. And Poison Dart Frog. Is that useful yet? There is now a summon here, so throwing an Osprey in front of it isn't too bad. Get more Bulldogs, because the Bulldogs are the best NRL team. I have no idea what that is, but... No, I'll buy one more Bulldog. Favorite pet from the new pack? I don't know. I don't know. I like how the Manta Ray looks. I think that's very cute art. I don't know what my favorite is in terms of ability, though. Because there are some things that I feel like are just very good. So I think the Crane is probably one of the best, like... Strongest additions to the game? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Any of the new non-shot pets, so Lizard Tail and the Small Slugs, I like those. Those are good. Okay, so we're taking this. I'm going to roll, see if I can find a... Oh, we can have this as well. The Quitter? Nah. Nah, no Quitter. Can leave that. We finally found a Stilt. It might be uh, worth taking for now, to be fair. Yeah, I think that does help us out a bit. So now we get three trumpets, two of them get spent, this thing gets six extra, six extra HP. So then when it gets hurt, it'll uh, reassign its attack. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's sad how it like trickles down so much, but yeah, we're fine. Nice. You went against the gorilla in the golden pack? How would you do that, though? Like, this guy summons a gorilla at start of battle. Was it, like, actually in the fight somehow? Or do you just mean the macaque? I might buy some avocados, too. We're probably not doing, it, like, anything else with this team. Let's just buy a load of avocados, yeah. If we can find any more. Uh... Hmm. I almost want to do this to something, just so I can, like, get rid of it. But we wouldn't get any permanent value out of either. I could do that, but I don't want to keep it either. What would I be rolling for? Avocado is like... It's the same efficiency as magpie. I don't know. Let's just buy it then. Alright. Chocolate cake is only in battle now, if I recall correctly. Wasn't it always? Oh, you mean it only dies in battle now. You're right, actually. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think it works as a pill anymore. It's been too long and my brain doesn't work. Alright, uh, we're taking this. <laughs> I almost have to run like two and try and hope for two slugs, but I think I just combine. Combine and yeah, we're looking for slugs. Probably not macaque. We really do just want slugs here. Come on, give me something. 
Give me something I can use. Uh, manatee banana again? <laughs> it's, it's almost tempting. But no. Slug me. Slug. At least let me level it up. Thank you. Yeah, we do not care for no shark. Uh, this is not a good team. <laughs> I'm very, I'm definitely recognizing that. Benz, hello. Okay, can I have that managed to one shot? But it's going to get very weak very quickly. Yeah. This is going to be a loss. Oh, wait, it's actually cool. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Please, slug, thank you. Uh, I'm probably buying this as well. I think we abandon whatever is going on here. Like, this is a nice triple, but these two things by themselves kind of suck. So, yeah, let's get rid of one of those. Throw that here. I'm just going to stack this. I will rearrange it a little bit. But... Hmm. Let's just roll once. I don't want to buy this. If we lose, then we lose, and that's okay. Okay, so Surgeon Fish isn't doing anything, but that's fine. We just need to get some good snipes with the frog at the start. With this. Oh, it wasn't enough. <laughs> I paid that hit. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lose. This thing is like very strong. Plus six HP to every summon. Yeah, very good. Well, there's an emu, but we again. I want. I want to try an emu build. I need to invest a lot earlier than this, though. My slugs are definitely a possibility. I'm, deba I'm debating keeping it frozen, though, and then running for a white whale. Definitely onion this, too. Okay, for now, I'm going to run double slug. I will rearrange, because I will need to. And... <laughs> this is... This is by this. We can combine if we need to. I'm going to leave that. Right, so this is now going to trigger on those, and then when this dies, this is going to jump right to the back, so it'll go behind this slug. Which means we will get to get more triggers out of it if we need to. But that's only if it doesn't get insta-snipe, because it is also just 5 HP. Which means, yeah, this thing could insta-kill it. Just have mercy. Don't do it. No, they did it! <laughs> No. To be fair, maybe we would have lost anyway. Link for the test server. It's in the title. It's a exclamation point test. I'm just gonna throw this here. I could combine the slugs, but there's no reason to yet. Freeze this. Don't buy it. Debating like freezing an apple or something, but <laughs> I don't think I will. There's like no chance we do it this turn, so I think we just keep rolling. Wolf is fine, but it's not it's not the same. Yeah, let's keep rolling. No. Okay. Your 10k balls, please, Kino. Don't vote if you can't lose them. Uh we're gonna be okay. This is kind of a scary team. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay, actually. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we did it. There we go. Believe a payout. And Slasher, welcome. Right. So, I do want to buy the White Whale, but we need to find another slug in the shop before it's worth it. Maybe we'll just get rid of this now, though, and then trust that we'll find it. Dude. Thank you. Uh, bear is also very interesting, because we will have a lot of summons, but having a bear means that the Dart Frog with Onion won't make as much sense. So, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is just, like, keep the tomato frozen, give it to the white whale as soon as we can. Well, once we find something worth eating, I may let it eat a wolf, but I really want it to eat another slug. And I know I could combine the slugs, I don't care. <laughs> Fine without. Uh, Offspree is something, but it's not a good something. Well, yeah, okay, we'll just do that then. So we get to roll it. Eat the wolf. So this is now like as efficient as the slug. 
Because this summons two things, like one after the other. This also does the same, because it dies, summons a wolf, which dies, summons a pig. But, I don't know, maybe it is worth having things where they were, or this further forward, just because... Actually, no, because then we lose pigs. I'm going to leave it like this, because I don't want this to die. I want that to be able to get a snipe off. But, yeah. If we can feed that to a slug instead, I think I'll go for that. How confident are you feeling that the next game will be a Believer game? I want to try the... The thing that I was saying earlier, so not very confident. It's new. Apparently I had bad order as well. I think we're okay, though. We're not okay. <laughs> okay, we're dead. Fine. That's fine. Believer payout. Good enough.